Good morning, everybody. It's uh, John Bellamy here. I'm really looking forward to today's webinar. So we are going to uh, get cracking and get moving with this uh, very shortly, just letting everybody come on board. I can see um, people are now starting to jump on, which is, which is fantastic. Just let me know if you can just put a, a little uh, Y in the chat box, just to let me know that you can hear me there. That would be spectacular. Um, as you come on board, just hit the Y, fantastic. I just want to make sure that's all cool. Um, everyone's coming through, which is fantastic. I've got a great webinar. Um, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be sharing my screen, so I'm going to turn off my video um, shortly. I'm just going to let a couple more people pop on and uh, we'll, get, we'll get cracking. Um, now, as we go through this webinar and everything today, um, please, if you've got questions as they come up, make sure you just um, pop them in there and we'll make sure that we go and answer those questions for you. Uh, from that. So let me uh, sh start sharing my screen. I'm going to turn my video off and we'll sh start sharing my screen and uh, we'll get underway uh, on today's webinar, which is going to be pretty darn awesome if I don't say so myself. All right, everybody, well, uh, welcome to today's webinar. Uh, it is all about how to create a predictable marketing and sales machine uh, powered by LinkedIn and Infusionsoft by Keep. Uh, my name is, is John Bellamy and for those of you who uh, don't have a clue who I am or we've never connected or spoken in person before, um, just to give you a little bit of background and insight uh, from, my, from myself, um, I've been a direct response marketer now since 1999. Um, I've worked with thousands of small businesses as well as corporates and I've helped them over that time implement primarily B2B lead generation and sales strategies. I started my corporate career uh, knocking on doors, uh, selling roof restorations, then went into mobiles, then started working with um, Australasia's largest uh, direct mail uh, provider, then went through into uh, more advertising recruitment and voila, we've been here. But for the last decade or so, I've been uh, focused purely on leveraging uh, platforms like LinkedIn and Infusionsoft by Keep um, and speak around the globe in fact, in a couple of weeks, I'm speaking in San Diego, then off to Japan, uh, speaking over there as well, which is great. Now, if for some reason we are not connected right now, I encourage you to go and uh, connect with me. Best place to do that is uh, via LinkedIn. So you can go and uh, just search for my name, John Bellamy on LinkedIn. You'll see that profile photo there. Um, or just go linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash John Bellamy. All right. So the fact is... Your prospects right now are buying from someone. Right now, like I said, they are buying from someone. It may just not be you. And, you know, like it or don't like it, that's the facts, okay? It's the same in my business. It's the same in your business. It's the same in every business on the planet right now. Your prospects are buying from somebody right now. It may just not be you. So that's, I just want to start that because a lot of people really don't, don't think about this. Um, from that aspect at the moment. I really want you to start thinking about this. Your prospects are actively buying from somebody. And this is the most important thing you've got to remember is that they're buying solutions to their problems right now. Okay, it may just not be you. And on today's webinar, the whole intention from my end here is to really help you establish your authority, help you go and generate more influential conversations and predictably close more sales, okay, with the platforms LinkedIn and Infusionsoft by Keep. And, you know, this is the same process that we're going to be covering today that some of my clients like Sean went and utilized to go and generate four appointments in 48 hours. Uh, and since then it has written millions in approved loans. Um, so that's Sean Massey from Mobile Lender. It's the same process that literally from a 90 minute conversation we had, Bronwyn went and generated a 30% increase in leads within the first two weeks. It's the same process that we utilized with uh, one of our private clients, Joven, when we we're working with him where he went and generated over 500 targeted connections and 300K in sales all within four months. Now, just so we're clear, okay, just so we're perfectly clear here, I am not in the business of selling magic pills, okay? Uh, so let's be clear. This process, these outcomes for you, they might, they might happen almost instantaneously like they did for Sean, or they could literally take months for that to happen for you. But what I want you to think about is as we go through this process today, 
I want you to look at the future. I really want you to start thinking of, yes, what's going to happen in the days and weeks ahead, but more importantly, what's going to happen in the months and years ahead? What if you implemented these strategies that we're going to share today and what would your business look like three years from now? Even if it's, heck, 18 months from now, maybe it's even longer term, five years from now. So I really want you to start looking longer term, okay? Every marketing aspect, every time we go and speak on stage, every time we go and implement these strategies, of course, we're looking for quick wins, but more important, we're looking for long-term profitable results, okay? Once again, no magic pills, okay? No magic pills. If someone offers you a magic pill, run in the opposite direction very, very quickly. So in case you are wondering, um, will John have a special offer for me today on this webinar? Of course I am. Um, you know, it would actually be rude of me to invest this time in myself. It'd be rude of me to invest this time in you also offering, uh, you know, some amazing concepts and ideas without actually giving you that opportunity to buy something for me. Now, whether you choose to do that is entirely up to, up to yourself. I mean, I'm not going to be offended if you choose to walk away and don't buy. That's perfectly fine, okay? But my intention's really here to, to, this is why I love doing these live webinars, and yes, this is live. My intention is here to really help you guys understand what you can go and implement, okay? If we're a fit, fantastic. If we're not a fit, fantastic. That's perfectly fine. So with that said, consider this. Everything that you've been taught about marketing sales to this point could be wrong, okay? Everything that you've been taught about marketing and sales to this point could be wrong. Now, let me explain. Here's the three most common challenges that I hear day in and day out, regardless if I'm having one-on-one -on -one conversations, doing webinars like this, speaking on stages around the planet. These are the three most common challenges that we hear all the time and that we see and we get to experience. Number one is that most businesses, okay, particularly small, medium-sized businesses, up to around about that 20 million mark, this is where we've seen this to be true time and time and time again, is that they have an inconsistent or even in worst cases, a non-existent positioning statement, okay? We're talking about like, for example, their online profile here. Think of this as your LinkedIn profile or your Facebook profile, your Instagram, whatever platform it is there. There seems to be a very inconsistent or non-existent positioning there. And the challenge with this is that it absolutely results in market confusion and ultimately it is an absolute sales killer. Okay, number one. The second thing is that we find that most of these businesses sub that 20 million mark is that they have no clear marketing or sales strategy outside of word of mouth. Okay, outside of word of mouth. Now, what I mean by that is a consistent strategy. Yeah, sure, people might go and drop some ad spend in ad hoc and things like that, or they might try certain things out, but there is no clear and dedicated, consistent action around their marketing and sales strategy outside of word of mouth. And just so we're clear, whilst I love word of mouth, I'm not, not bagging word of mouth or referrals, okay? But the fact is, word of mouth and referral marketing is the most inconsistent way to grow a business ever. Is it a good strategy? Should everybody have it? Yes. But if it's, your, if it's your sole reliance to grow your business on word of mouth or referrals, fact is it's the most inconsistent way to grow your business. And the third most common challenge here is that failure to implement and follow up consistently. And, and quite often and more often than not, we see that this comes from a fear of, you know, I don't want to be salesy or I don't want to come across sleazy or particularly in the professional services space, what will my peers think of me? If I actually go out there and, you know, ask somebody to buy something, what would they actually think of me? Are they going to think, you know, you know, oh, he's just a sleazy salesperson or something along those lines. Now, I really want to make this interactive as well. So, like, if you have come across, if you can relate to one or even three of these things, just give me a why in the chat. I just want to make sure that you're all tuning in and I want to make sure that we're on point here um, because, like I said, you know, we've given thousands of presentations. We've spoken to thousands of small, medium-sized businesses across the planet and these are the most common things uh, that we see. So give me a why. I want to make sure that we're, we're coming across there. Fantastic. I can see some people coming through now. Awesome. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to go back once again, guys. If you've got questions, if you've got points, if you want to pull me up on a topic or something like that, uh, absolutely write your comment in there. I'm going to pause throughout this presentation and I'm going to, uh, you know, pause the slides, go to live video and answer some of these questions as well. But let's, for right now, let's keep moving on. So with all of those problems and challenges, how do we actually go about solving these these challenges right now? How do we go and do that? Well, from my aspect, there's really two things that us as small, medium-sized business owners right now really must understand. Number one is that we must understand, we must learn to leverage technology. And I'm going to talk about that and, and hint it's the LinkedIn and Infusionsoft side of things, um, as well as others, but those, those two particular. The second thing is, is that you must create a system and not just any system, you've got to create a repeatable system. If you look at any billion dollar, heck, even any, you know, really large scale business, $100 million, $500 million business right now, they've all got one thing in common. And this is that they've created a repeatable system. Okay, this is the only way that those that those companies can can really consistently grow long term. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go and build a $200 million enterprise or anything like that. If you want to go go forth and do that. But let's just say, let's just say you only wanted to build a business that was doing half a million a year, or maybe it was 3 million a year or 15 million a year. The fact remains, if you really want to create, um, you know, repeat business principles, if you really want to onboard and bring on clients, you know, at will, essentially, you really need to go and create that system. So with that said, like I mentioned before, the two systems that we're going to be talking about today are these, it's Infusionsoft and Keep. Now, for those of you who aren't overly familiar with these platforms, just to give you a little bit of a digest here, um, LinkedIn is the world's largest professional network. It's got over 562 million users and counting every second. Um, and, and it trades in essentially more than 200 countries and territories worldwide. Fact is, LinkedIn is where the professionals, it's where the big time CEOs, it's where you know, if you're in that B2B, I like to call it human to human, but if you're in that traditional business to business marketplace, this is where they're hanging out online. Is Facebook, is Instagram, uh, all the other platforms still great platforms? Of course they are. We've just found that LinkedIn is the place that business professionals hang out. Okay, we find that it's a lot easier to get uh, to generate conversations and then actually, you know, close deals via LinkedIn than it is in Facebook. Now, that's our experience. That's the experience from our clients over the years. And Infusionsoft by Keep, um, it's the number one automation platform for small businesses worldwide. It's actually been designed um, to help you get work done, okay? Helps you get organized, deliver personalized service so that ultimately you can go and close more sales. So that's the technology pieces that we're gonna be talking about. With that said, so what's the system? Now, before I uh, jump into this system, I just want to stop here for a minute. just want to stop here. I'm going to pull my uh, video back up on screen. And I want to actually answer some of these questions that you may have right now. So I just want to check in with everybody. We're going to do this, like I said. Uh, all good, Donna, for the late login. No dramas at all. What I wanted to see right now, I'm just going to ask this question. Give me your response. What is that number one biggest challenge that you're facing in your business right now, okay? Just give me a, you know, if it's leads, if it's sales conversations, if it's I don't have a system, what is it for you right now? Hiring salespeople, I'm just curious to, to take a check-in and to get a poll. I want you to think about that because, um, yeah, leads, conversions to leads, okay, fantastic. Thank you for that. Um, I just really want to make sure that you guys get on point with what we're talking about. And I want to make sure that we tailor uh, what we're going to be covering in this program for you today on this webinar. So getting leads is another one there. I'm going to leave this open for another second. Leads and contacts. Okay, fantastic. Excellent, excellent, excellent. How many of you are just out of curiosity? One more question. How many of you are actively leveraging LinkedIn right now? And when I say actively leveraging, I mean connecting, having a sales conversation and closing a deal. Um, just give me a yay or a nay, so Y or N, um, no, okay, fantastic. I'm drinking my green tea, by the way. Okay, awesome. Well, you're gonna love, you're gonna love what we're going to talk about. Identifying who, um, who wants what I have to offer. Perfect, 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 I love that. Thank you for that. Um, let me go and share my screen, stop this video, jump back on here. Hope you guys are all getting some value out of this uh, right now. I really want to make sure that you are. All right. So what's the system? 
Okay, let's talk about this. This is where we're gonna spend the bulk of our time on today's uh, webinar. So the system that we implement is what we call the C4 method. It's an advanced marketing and sales method for selling high ticket products and services. All right, so what does the C4 method entail? Well, it's all about reaching out and being able to connect with somebody. It's being able to communicate, then ultimately convert, and then finally cultivate those relationships. Here's the thing, okay, and I'm gonna throw this a spanner on, a spanner in here, and like I said earlier, most people, what they have been taught or what they've learned about marketing and sales to this date could be wrong, okay, could be wrong. And the reason I say that is it actually baffles me that I hear this all the time, day in and day out. Everyone says to me, John, sales is about relationships, okay? Um, it's actually the biggest myth on the planet. Sales is not about relationships. Sales is actually about helping somebody who has a problem or challenge buy a solution from you or another party, okay? So it's literally sales is about making money, okay? It's, it's about helping people find a solution to their problems and challenges. Relationships is a byproduct of the sales process, okay? Let me be clear around that. So sales is about helping people to buy, relationships is a byproduct of the sales process. Now, what I am not saying is I am not saying that relationships aren't important, okay? Relationships are absolutely critical. However, what I'm saying is that most people are being educated that sales is all about the relationship where in fact it's not. The relationship is the byproduct. So this is what we're gonna be talking about in the C4 method today. And this is why you see step four or method four is cultivate. That's the relationship side of things. So with that said, let's come in. I can see that there's some comments coming through. I'll come back to those and check those off in a minute. Um, so in the, in the connect phase, uh, this is really where we want to start refining your positioning. And what, what we do and how we go about doing this is we really need to understand the psychographics, okay? Understand the psychographics of our ideal future clients. So let me just take a moment here. Um, a lot of people understand demographics being like age, gender, location, and all of those types of things. They're great. Psychographics, though, talks about the values. It talks about the reasons why people buy or don't buy. It talks about um, the, the, the reasons why people are frustrated, keeping them awake at night, and all of those types of things. So I've got um, 21 psychographic questions. Um, Everybody who's attending can go and have those. It's not a drama at all. Um, they will really help you get clear around your market, okay? Get clear around the buying signals, the problems and challenges that your market is facing. So if you want those, um, definitely hang around to the end because you'll get them, no charge, my shout, you know, my shout from that end. Um, the second thing within the connect phase is that you need to go and identify your target market, okay? So you really need to find out where these people are hanging out. So for example, if you're in that B2B space, once again, we would highly recommend jumping on LinkedIn and using the Sales Navigator platform, okay? Because that's gonna really help us get refined. And equally, let's just, let's just be very clear here. I know today we're talking about LinkedIn, we're talking about Infusionsoft by Keep, but let me be clear, if your market, if your prospects are not hanging out on LinkedIn, let's say they're hanging out on Facebook, don't invest time, energy or effort on LinkedIn, okay? Go to Facebook, okay? I wanna be clear here, you gotta fish where the fish are. So what we find is most of the clients that we speak with, they're on LinkedIn, so let's go and leverage LinkedIn in that regard and leverage Sales Navigator. Up from here as well, once we've got our positioning right, we know who our target market is, then we've got to optimize our LinkedIn profile. We've also got to go and optimize our LinkedIn company page. And this is where we follow our process in our, like for example, our WeWrite Profiles process, where we talk about the story, the segue, the sell. And I'll talk about this more in a, in a little moment from there. Um, from here, in that connect phase, just before we start reaching out and actually doing it, we want to go and start creating your connection message sequence. So we actually want to go and personalize that connection. Now, let's be clear as well. Once again, we're talking about LinkedIn today, but what if you were going to do a cold email reach out from that aspect? You definitely want to go and focus on getting that script right and get that connection message right. But you want to make sure, once again, that you understand the psychographics. You understand where your target market lives, where are they hanging out right now, and then optimizing your digital presence, optimizing your even physical presence, maybe using direct mail letter or a brochure, making sure that those that, that 
those pieces of information are optimized and they're speaking to your target market. This is what we focus on in the connect phase. So if we speak about your LinkedIn profile for a moment, okay, there's a couple of things that um, I just wanted to address on your LinkedIn profile. Number one is that you want to make sure that you've got a clear profile photo and banner. Okay, so that's the top section here of your LinkedIn profile. Um, the second thing that you want to do is you want to have a look at your high impact headline. So on screen, it work, right there where mine says, grow your LinkedIn connections, conversations and sales with our proven LinkedIn marketing solutions. These are the things that you want to make sure that you've got right. And then from there, your background summary. So this is where we follow the story, segue, sell, framework okay on your linkedin profile this is where we really think of it like a mini sales letter this is where we articulate a message that's targeted towards um, your ideal future clients okay uh, so that we get your message clearly across it's not about you it's about your experience and how you can actually go and solve your ideal clients you know your future clients problems and challenges from there you want to go and make sure that your experience section is right on there you also want to make sure that you've got your skills and expertise updated um, your recommendations highly recommend if you're not getting them already go and get some LinkedIn recommendations and finally you want to go and make sure that your company page is speaking to that audience as well now just one more thing that I wanted to just talk about these top level things on your LinkedIn on your LinkedIn profile here. Your LinkedIn profile is like a foundational asset. So it's sort of like the foundations that lay your house, okay, from that aspect. If it's not right, so if you haven't gone and covered off these things, if you haven't got your profile photo and your banner, your high impact headline, your background summary, etc., if those things aren't right, People are searching for you online right now. People are searching for you, your business via Google, via LinkedIn, wherever, Bing, whatever they're looking at right now. If your profile comes up and it doesn't clearly articulate um, to that target market what problems and challenges you help them solve, then you're, you're massively at a disadvantage, okay? So we need to get these foundations right from that aspect. Once you've got those foundations right of your LinkedIn profile, this is where Sales Navigator comes into it, okay? So Sales Navigator is ultimately gonna help you identify um, the, like those people to reach out to and connect with. Um, Sales Navigator, for me, uh, not only will it just, just cut through the noise of you know thousands upon thousands of potential people that you can go and connect with, but more importantly, it's actually gonna save you a bucket load of time. Okay, a bucket load of time so that you're actively only reaching out to those people who have got a high propensity to, you know, ultimately buy what you have to sell, who have got a high propensity that have got a problem or challenge that you know you can solve in that regard. So in Sales Navigator, there's a couple of filters that you really want to look at. These are the, these five filters here are the ones that we will look at every single time, hands down, when we're operating for campaigns for ourselves, campaigns for our clients. Um, and these are the same filters that I'd recommend for you, whether we work together or not, um, that you can go and implement as a base level. You can add more filters on this, but this is your foundational filter. So number one is that relationship. So are you looking for first or second degree connections from that aspect? If you're looking to build your connection base, you're looking for second degree connections. If you're looking at to communicate with your existing LinkedIn network, you're looking at first level connections, okay? Just to give you a bit of context around that. Um, the industry, so what you wanna have a look at here is which industries do you wanna include and which industries do you wanna exclude from your search parameters? Um, the geography, okay? So regardless of, of where you're searching, you can do a couple of different um, searches with with Sales Navigator, you could look at a region, for example, um, you know, APAC, you look at a region like United States, Sydney, whatever it might be, or you could actually go down to a postcode region with your, geo with your geographical radius behind that. So you might pick um, Sydney, for example, and a 40 kilometer radius from postcode 2000 to CBD. So you can really hone in on your search parameters there. You also want to have a look at your seniority level. So for example, if you're like me and you're looking to target business owners or that C-suite um, within growing organizations, you might just look at the business owner or the CXO category in the seniority level. If you're looking at more um, that student market, for example, you'd go and exclude all of those other seniority levels, and you might just go and look at students, for example, or entry-level positions. 
And finally, you want to also incorporate that company headcount. I know for me, when, when uh, Sales Navigator brought this out, this was a game changer. Being able to exclude um, and, you know, therefore only include certain types of sized businesses is critical, critically important. For example, one of our clients, uh, for example, they only, they only want to reach out and connect with organizations that have got 50 to 200 employees. Okay, so it's very focused in on that market. And, they're, you know, they're looking at typically businesses in their case that are doing somewhere between sort of 20 and 200 million um, from that aspect. So that, that's really important them, important for them. For us, for example, we, we primarily focus on, uh, you know, those, those businesses that, that have typically got, you know, a minimum sort of a three on the, in their in their headcount, so we have to go one to ten, and and up to about fifty on their team. So we would always go one to fifty. So I'm trying to think like, what is that for you? Because this is really going to. If you look on screen, then that screenshot, we got 94 results. When we actually started that search, it was about a million. Okay, and then we just started overlaying and overlaying and overlaying, and then and we got down to 94 results. So you can think about it when you're then investing the time reaching out to connect, which is what we're going to talk about in a moment. Um, you're really being laser focused and being you know respectful of your time in that regard. So with that said, let's move into the communicate phase of the C4 method. Okay, let's move in here. I'm going to take a break after this second, go and answer some questions. But in the communicate phase of the C4 method, what we want to what we want to focus here on is actually going and sending those targeted connection requests. Okay, so like, for example, those 94 people, what are we going to say to them? We want to then absolutely make sure that we're tracking who's accepting our connection requests. Okay, from there, we want to develop and deploy our high value follow up. And typically, we look at like a 45 to 60 day campaign from a cold reach out. So how do we get these people to, to speak to us within that 45 to 60 day time frame? Uh, from there, we want to once again, identify and segment out those contacts who engage in our message. So we're doing two lots of segmentation. We're going, we're, con we're sending connection requests, we're identifying who's accepted. We're following up the people who have accepted, we're identifying people who have engaged. Okay. And from there, we want to consistently test measure and tweak. So to give you a bit of a, a more in-depth look in the communicate phase here, I wanted to share with you um, three different areas that you might want to have a look at. And these three things, you may have seen these before because I know I've put this video out before, but these are the three B2B marketing tactics um, that are really working right now when it comes to like particularly driving traffic off LinkedIn as a lead source. So there's LinkedIn messaging, there's sponsored email, and then there's carousel image ads, okay? So if we have a look at LinkedIn messaging messaging right now. The idea behind this is we want to proactively connect and engage with your target market. Uh, like I said before, we want to go and you know, deploy essentially a 45 to 60 day um, outreach campaign. And this could consist of three to five messages. Just so we're clear, even though we're talking about LinkedIn messaging here, you could use this same process in cold email reach out. You could probably use this same process if you're going to do Facebook messaging as well from that aspect. Um, the third thing here is once again, we want to identify and segment out those who engage. And and most importantly, you want to follow up and close these people via your sales process. So to give you an idea of just a couple of templates and things that you can use, here's an example of a, of a very basic connection message. Um, you know, hey, first name, I'm expanding my professional network with the view of insert your intention plus to insert desired outcome. With this said, I welcome the opportunity to connect. Thanks in advance, your name, okay? So if you're not taking a screenshot right now, you can do this. By the way, guys, I'll give you, I'll give you this info so it's no dramas at all. Um, you might then want to go and send a follow-up message. So once somebody has accepted and you're starting to go through this process, hey, great to connect with you. Looking forward to learning more about you and your business. In the meantime, if you're interested, you might want to check out this video. Click here to watch. Thanks again. And that video could share some more information about who you are, the problems and challenges you help clients solve, and then lead to some form of call to action or even a phone call with you from that aspect, from a consult or demo, whatever it might be. And then finally, I just wanted to share this other method with you here. You might have a video, an article, a case study, whatever it might be that, that relates to a common belief, thought or opinion that many of your target audience faces. So it could be, hey, John, you know, there's often this common belief held by many accountants that, you know, if you reach out and have a conversation with somebody by LinkedIn, then you must be pushy or a spammer. Maybe you can relate. Okay, so let's just say we're using that. Um, you know, whatever your thoughts might be around this, 
um, I thought I'd share this blog with you or this case study with you uh, as it discusses, you know, how we worked with this accountant and reshaped their beliefs around sales, which resulted in X, Y, Z results. Um, you know, click here to check it out. Um, trust you find this article or this video or case study of value and I welcome your thoughts and feedback. So this is where you can start to leverage the copywriting and the context. So I just want to, I thought it was really important to, to share some of these frameworks with you. Um, just give me a why right now if, if those three frameworks, I'm just going to go back so you can see them again. So we've just got a, you know, a basic introduction text here. We've got like a thank you message and then we've got a reach out one. Give me a why if you found that of value or not, because I find a lot of people are great at, you know, just sending a connection request, but most never personalize it, but then they never follow up. So I just want to make sure that that's a value there. Okay, fantastic. Now, before I go and answer any of these questions, because like I said, I'm going to pause again for you here. Before I'm going to answer any more of these questions, I just wanted to share a couple of different posts, ideas, or, or um, like particularly off message three that I just showed here, a couple of different um, angles that you could lead to from this, okay? So for example, LinkedIn video posts, just like Facebook and all of that, video is getting more and more and more and more prominent um, on all social media platforms. So what you could do here is you could utilize a video post, like the one that you're seeing on screen, um, that was, you know, driving to a webinar, uh, once again, from that aspect, something like this. Uh, so so the, the way that we used this video post was number one, to increase our reach. It was to increase leads for our webinar signs up, sign up. It was to increase sales conversations off the back of our webinars and then ultimately to in increase our conversion rate um, to make more dollars. So we, we recorded a video on LinkedIn, we published it on LinkedIn, um, those little three buttons on the, little three dots on the top right of that screenshot that you can see there. Um, we clicked on that and we copied the, um, the link uh, to that post and we sent an email out to our database. Um, so, you know, you can see that our, the video got 3,200 views, had 66 likes, 20 comments. Um, we had a bunch of, you know, registrations and, and we did a few grand I think we almost did about eight or nine thousand dollars off the back of that webinar so it was a great um, mechanism from that aspect um, another way that you can do this a lot of people have got free reports templates white papers whatever they might have um, this is a great way that you can go and demonstrate some value up front you can increase leads into your database which therefore means that you or your sales team have you know more people to speak to um, which therefore increases your opportunity for a sales conversation and once again increase your sales conversions um, we could use a webinar just going directly to a webinar uh, landing page off the back of that. Um, the big thing here with webinars, I say demonstrate, that's why it's massively pointed out there on screen. It gives you that opportunity to demonstrate value up front. Just like I'm doing now, I hope you're all extracting a lot of value from this webinar. That's my intention. I can't give you value, okay? It's, it's a perceived thing, so it's in order for you to extract it. Okay, so I hope you're extracting value, whatever you take away from this webinar today. Once again, increases sales conversations and conversions. And one of my favorites, considering that this is one of my first corporate jobs was in the direct mail space. I love direct mail. Um, imagine for a moment you went and started connecting with your really, your high, your high you know, valued prospects, your A style, your A style prospects from that aspect. And uh, you connected with them on LinkedIn. Uh, you did a little bit of extra research and you did a bit of data mining. Okay, you, you mine their data from their LinkedIn profile, from Google, what it, whether you did it yourself or outsourced it to somebody or you bought a list or whatever it might be. And following that connection request, you followed up that person with a direct mail letter. Okay, um, the, the beauty of this, it's going to massively increase your visibility and your conversations off the back of that. Um, so to give you an idea, for those of you who are in Australia, I know it's a lot cheaper in the US, but in Australia right now, um, for literally a printing a two-sided uh, direct mail letter in colour, including the envelope, getting it mailed you know, to them is about $2.95 um, per one that is being sent out, okay? Um, so for every 100 that you send, what's, what's that? It's 300 bucks. Um, so if you think of it in that way, and then what's a client worth off the back of that? I love direct mail. Use it wisely though, okay? Everyone's not doing it right now, which is why you should be, in my opinion. Okay, so that's, that's uh, the first thing there. Sponsored emails, I'm gonna fly through this because I really don't wanna invest too much time in these next two, but these are great as well. Um, essentially, sponsored emails is like the messaging side of things, but it's a cost-effective 
paid messaging advertising, okay? So it's an advertise, so you're paying for it to be sent out. Um, once again, it speaks directly to your target market. It's supported by a banner ad and you use it to leverage um, really the LinkedIn lead forms. I'll show you that in a moment. Um, just to give you an idea, we're seeing from paid ad spend, um, we're seeing an average cost per lead of typically between $130 and $200 on average, and that's pretty consistent across the board. Um, we're managing you know, tens of thousands of dollars in ad spend uh, any given month right now. We're not doing hundreds of thousands of dollars in ad spend that we're managing, but tens of thousands we're managing every month uh, for our clients. And just so we're clear here, that $130 to $200, that's going directly to a phone conversation, okay? So we're not going to um, you know, download our free thing. We're actually going directly to a phone conversation. Would you like to have a chat with this person, okay? So think of $130 to $200 to get, a, to get a, a phone conversation with your ideal future client, you pay it every day of the week as long as you're converting. Um, so to give you an example, this is what you could send. In fact, this is one um, that we turn on and turn off quite regularly um, in our business. Uh, so this is like copy that we're using last year. Um, are you open to having a chat about this in the last 12 months, the direct messaging team and I have, you know, X, Y, Z. Um, but that said, if you're curious, you know, let's have a chat. They click yes. On the right of screen there, you can see that there's a, um, a lead form. Um, that information gets populated with their LinkedIn details. Um, and then that comes through to us into our Infusionsoft database. And then, you know, myself or the team will pick up the phone and we go from there. Um, third one is carousel ads. Similar to sponsored emails, it's cost effective paid image advertising. Um, once again, speak directly to your target market. Ability to tell a story and support your brand message. This is why I love carousel ads. Essentially, you can do, um, it's essentially more than one image ad. So for those of you who aren't familiar with carousel ads, essentially, we typically run three images, but you can go up to 10 images um, from that aspect. You, we, we tend to leverage the LinkedIn lead forms again. And we've actually seen in recent times, okay, so this, this 80 to $164, this is data that's been coming off for the last couple of months. So it's very recent. Um, average cost per lead, once again, going directly to a phone conversation is between sort of 80 to $164. It's, um, it was slightly getting better results than the sponsored emails. Um, but, you know, we've only got a couple of months of data this where data on this, whereas the sponsored email, in, in mails, we've got over 12 months of data. So this may, you know, it's, I would say that it'd probably flatten out similar type of price point um, for a call from that aspect. Um, but, you know, this is this is a sponsored email image that, we, um, that I've shown you here for one of our clients, the executive connection. Um, I've just used the same lead form that you can see on the side as what I showed you before. Um, but as you can see there, it tells that brand story. Okay, from that aspect, um, and you just want to, you know, like any form of marketing, you just want to start to to leverage it in that regard, uh, and see see what works. It's testing, measuring, and tweaking. So I'm just going to pause right here. Uh, let me bring up my video again. Let me stop sharing screen, and I just want to answer your questions. Okay, so we've spoken about the connect phase. We've spoken about the communicate phase. I can see that there's a lot of uh, whys coming through saying that you are finding that valuable, which is great. I just want to stop right now and I just wanted to answer any questions that you that you have because like I said, my intention is to make sure that you extract the value um, that, that you want. You're investing time, I'm investing time on this live webinar. So let's make sure that everyone you know walks away regardless if we work together or not. I do have that offer, like I said. Let's make sure that you get some value. So what questions do you have for me right now? Um, what problems are you facing right now around that connection um, phase, around that follow-up phase? Like, I'm curious because I know everyone was saying that, you know, the big thing, I'm just looking at the notes, the big thing was getting the leads, okay, or identifying, you know, who wants to actually, you know, to work with the offer that I have. What are you, what are you experiencing right now? Give me a couple of questions while I have a sip of tea. I'm only going to leave this open for 30 seconds or so. So if we don't get questions, we're going to keep moving. Converting contacts into emails, okay, and, co and communications leads, okay, cool. As a sole trader, um, I have a second, or should I have a second LinkedIn profile? Definitely not. Um, finding the pool of clients to fish in, okay, fantastic, great questions. Okay, cool. So converting contacts into emails. So um, I'm going to be covering this in a moment, but the big thing is that, um, and this is why we talk about in, uh, LinkedIn, 
and Infusionsoft. So I just want to cover this for a, for a second right here and I'll explain it more when we go into the conversion phase. Um, LinkedIn for me, okay, for me, for, for our business, and this is the, the frame of mind or the mindset that I like to, um, well, I encourage people to consider taking on board anyway, is this around LinkedIn. LinkedIn is literally um, the new yellow pages of business, okay? It's, it's a digital phone book. Um, it's, it's a platform, it's digital networking. It's literally a place that a gazillion professionals are hanging out we need to use things like Sales Navigator to identify those that um, have a higher probability of being our target audience. And ultimately what we want to do is we want to, we want to transition. So we want to connect with those people on LinkedIn. We want to follow them up on LinkedIn initially and then transition them across to email. Okay, so there's, a many, there's many different ways that we could do that. And then the intention behind the email um, is ultimately to, you know, A, to get them into our database, um, but secondly is to obviously develop a sales conversation with them. We actually want to get them offline as quickly as we can so we can jump on the phone, jump on a Zoom call like what we're doing now from that aspect. So I'm going to cover more of that in our next step in the convert phase here. Um, as a sole trader, should I have a second LinkedIn profile? Um, absolutely not. Um, I speak to a lot of people around this and they go, for example, and this might not be the case, so let me know if it is or not, but a lot of people will go, I've got two different businesses or I've got a couple of different businesses or I'm currently employed and I'm also starting a business from that aspect. Should I have two different profiles? No. Um, you should have one LinkedIn profile um, and support that with a company page. So for example, you might have two company pages, for example, but you definitely want to have one LinkedIn profile. And the, the intention and the, the purpose behind your LinkedIn profile is to essentially um, is to essentially tell a story to that ideal target market, leveraging your skills and expertise. Okay, so for example, if you haven't read my profile, go check it out. But we, we my profile essentially reads, um, or essentially we're calling BS on the fact that if you reach out to connect with somebody um, with the view of having a sales conversation, then you must be pushy or a spammer. And we're just calling BS on that. We're, we're essentially coming from the frame of mind that, let's face it, if you're in business or you're starting a business, the fact is, is that you need to speak to people. You need to pick up the phone. You need to reach out have a sales conversation. People can say no, they don't want to, they don't want to work with you. They don't want to enter into that sales conversation. That's perfectly fine, but you need to be on the front foot and go on outbound. And I think um, if I get on my high horse for a moment, um, I think this is where um, the big, th there's been this big falsity that's gone across the market in the last five years with the whole content marketing um, side of things. Content marketing, inbound marketing is great, without a doubt, without question, you should incorporate inbound marketing and a content strategy as part of your marketing process. But the fact remains, the fastest path to cash in any business, regardless of its, if you're just starting out or you're a multi-billion dollar business, the fastest path to cash is by you picking up the phone and having an outbound strategy. You physically reaching out, whether you're connecting via LinkedIn, Facebook, going to a networking function, going to a conference, whatever it might be, and then actively picking up the phone and having a sales conversation, hands down, asking people to buy is the fastest path to cash, okay? So people have brought out this whole, oh, you've got to have this inbound marketing strategy and all of that. And the challenge, particularly small businesses, they use that as a distraction to not pick up the phone. Okay, um, so bringing that back, and I've got on my high horse, bringing that back down to should you have two profiles? No, you should have one, but you want to make sure that that number one profile clearly articulates and speaks to your target audience. And, and the intention behind it is to connect with people so that you can bring that conversation off the platform into your sales pipeline, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, the other thing is finding that, that ideal pool of fish to, um, to fit in. This is where understanding your psychographics, okay, so understanding, and the psychographics, like I said, we'll, we'll give you those at the end. Um, the psychographics is really understanding um, why your clients or your prospects buy 
um, or make the buying decisions, uh, you know, about what they're going to buy. What keeps them awake at night? Um, who, like you, has successfully or unsuccessfully sold products or services to them in the past, in the future? Why are they buying from your competitors, not you? Really understanding the psychographics, then taking, everyone to use like the terms avatar. Um, so that's what we're talking about here. Understanding the psychographics, creating your avatars, and then going, all right, leveraging from a LinkedIn aspect, leveraging sales navigator to identify, is there enough of a volume of these people hanging out on LinkedIn or not? Okay. Um, then if we take that offline, if we talk about networking, okay. Um, Chamber of Commerce and industry, a lot of people go to those events and they're great events, but let me, let me put this idea in your head. If your target market was accountants, for example, um, without a doubt, if you went to any chamber, local chamber of commerce, you'd probably get one to three, maybe five accountants at any one of those events. Guaranteed, month in, month out, yeah? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, that's been my experience. Um, however, uh, is that a great use of your time? Possibly, okay? Probably costs you $30, $40 to go to a chamber event every month. You're there for a couple of hours plus travel time, all of those types of things. So you're probably three to $500 invested, including your time um, from that aspect, maybe even more. Um, every month and you've got the opportunity to go and speak to those three, maybe five accounts, okay, um, every month. On the other hand, what if you could go to a conference that literally just had accountants in it? For example, I spoke at the IPA event uh, 12, 18 months ago now where there was about 300 accountants in the room. I went and ran a workshop, okay. Out of those 300 accountants, we had about 60 in my workshop. Um, so if I was targeting accountants, that could be a better use of my time. I went there for two days. I mixed and mingled. It cost me probably, you know, a couple of grand uh, from that aspect to, to go to that event. But I had more of my target market. So when we look at, when we do the math and we go, what was that investment? So what was that cost of that marketing activity versus the cost of contact that I was able to generate off the back of that, then into sales conversation, hands down, I got a much better return um, off the back of, you know, off this thing. It's, it's just like in a couple of weeks, I go to San Diego, I'm speaking about in, uh, LinkedIn and Infusionsoft and an Infusionsoft event over there. We'll probably have 60 or so in our room. There'll probably be three to 500 people at the workshop. That's costing me round figures around about five grand, okay, to go to that event. Um, but we're going to have, you know, $5,000 divided by 60 people. Let's just do the math here. 5,000 divided by 60, you know, $83.33 per cost of contact. Um, but I know out of those, out of those people, we'll have a bunch of consults and we'll generate some income off it. So you just got to do the math around your marketing activity. So I hope, hope that helps. Is everyone still with me? I just want to make sure that 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 sort of helps clears up some of those questions. So give me a why if we're on track with that. I just want to make sure because I know we're, yep, yeah, great, fantastic. All right, awesome. Um, all right, let me, let me jump back into the presentation because I'm conscious of um, everyone's time. And I'm glad that everyone is extracting value um, from this because I really want to make sure you are. All right, let me go and oh, share my screen here, stop my video, perfect. All right, so let's move into the, the convert phase of the C4 method here. Um, the convert phase, this is ultimately where you really want to start developing your sales presentations and your scripts. So just like this webinar, like this is spent hours upon hours upon hours putting these slides and the ideas behind the slides together, pulling them from different presentations, adding some new things, leveraging frequently asked questions from other webinars, from other conversations that we've had before. So we're developing those sales presentations and those scripts, okay, from that aspect. You've got to understand the math. I cannot stress the importance of this enough. Marketing, advertising, sales is literally about the math. And if you don't get the math right, you're going to be broke, okay? Ask me how I know that because I've made plenty of mistakes in the past. So you've got to understand the math from it. The intention here behind the convert phase, and if we look at it from a LinkedIn perspective, the intention here is how can we leverage the platform or even our Infusionsoft and the email follow-up, how can we leverage this to ultimately schedule somewhere between eight to 20 quality appointments per month, okay? Um, what I've found, what I've found from speaking to a gazillion businesses across the planet is that eight to 20 quality of phone conversations, engagements a month that they can go and follow up on, that seems to be sustainable and, and, and consistently achievable for most people to handle. 
Now, the challenge is, because everyone goes, John, I don't have leads at the moment and I want you to inundate me with leads. Let me ask you this is, if all you could do is just go and generate an additional eight new quality conversations per month consistently, how is that going to impact your business? I would, I would have to say probably positively, okay, in that regard. The challenge that you're going to have is if you go and generate 300 leads in, in the space of a month, you're never going to follow them up. You, you're going to be inundated. Um, most of them, you're going to be leaving a ton of cash on the table. So I'd rather see you go and do 8 to 20 uh, conversations consistently per month, okay, um, and, and then start getting that. I've got clients where they're like, John, you know what, if we just had three to five a month consistently, that's perfect from that aspect, but it's consistently is what I want you to understand there. Um, in the convert phase, this is where we want to start nurturing those people through your sales pipeline. And you've got to understand what, the, what your sales pipeline looks like. So ours traditionally is if we bring people into our sales pipeline, if they don't buy, in the first 90 days of engaging in our sales process from having a conversation and all that, the likelihood of that person actually buying in the next 12 months is less than 5%. So rightly or wrongly, if we're speaking to people and we've got a bunch that we're talking to at the moment, if they literally do not buy, transact, and you know, sign off on an agreement for our done for you solutions, for example, within a 90 day period, I stop speaking to them. I'll, put, I'll just keep nurturing them through my email marketing, but I will physically not have a, not have a phone conversation with them. I will not follow up the, those individuals unless they reach out to me, but I will not follow up those, those individuals ever again um, because the fact and the math shows us uh, that, you know, they won't buy. It's usually a year later when they come back into their buying cycle. Uh, in fact, we've got four people that we're speaking to right now where it's uh, between 12 and 15 months uh, since we spoke to them last year and they're, and they're coming back to us saying, hey, John, um, we're now ready to reinvestigate this because we've had a look at things. Now, you've got to understand what that looks like in your business, but typically what we've seen is around 90 days. Um, fo following on from there, we've got to go and turn conversations into cash. This is where you make the profit. This is where you absolutely must pick up the phone, okay? I cannot stress this enough. If you're expecting to make money without actually speaking to somebody, um, and, you know, well, I think, honestly, I think you're living in a fantasy world, but I tell you what, if, if you find a way how to do it without actually speaking to anybody, and I'm talking not selling a $20 widget here, um, I'm talking about actually making some, some real dollars off the back, you know, I'll, I'll be your first customer <laughs> from that aspect if you found out a way to, to do it without actually having a conversation. So pick up the phone, turn conversations into cash. So your sales presentations and scripts, these are, these are a couple of things that you really need to be on top of. Um, you, really need to, you really need to implement like what I call a baby step sales script. Okay, this is where you want to, um, th this is where you're going to learn how to identify and close hungry buyers. Okay, so these are people who are willing to invest $48 to like three grand. Okay, in under 15 minutes with you. Okay, I'm talking credit card in hand, processed on a phone call. Um, and you want to do this without fear of being labeled sleazy. Okay, this is ultimately your license to print money at will. Okay, so for example, I'm not sure who's on the call, what industries that you're looking at, but for the coaches and the consultants out there, if you can master this skill of having a 15, 20 minute conversation with somebody, identify their needs and, and close them into a baby step with you, something from 48 to, to, to three grand is where we've successfully done it hands in hand, like hand, day in, day out um, is, you know, in under 15, 20 minutes without fear of being labeled sleazy. Um, it's your license to print money from that aspect. So if you are a coach or consultant, I highly recommend starting there. Um, and then the other, other side of things is your sales presentation and your scripts here is the high ticket consultation framework. So this is where, you know, you're following that framework. This is the framework that's enabled myself, um, my clients, and, you know, hopefully soon to be you, um, to close high ticket sales. So what I mean by high ticket, because there's many definitions around that, I mean someone that's going to be spending at least $5,000 or more with you, okay? Five grand or more in a deal. Um, that could be a deal fluctuated over a 12 month it could be a deal one off whatever that might be that they're going to spend five grand or more with you in under 90 minutes okay um it gives you this framework gives you that ability to wrap up your sales calls confidently and once again with credit card in hand ready to go 
from that aspect. So these are the two um, presentations and, and scripts and frameworks that you really must understand, in, in my opinion. If you're just starting out as a coach or something like that, get on top of that baby step sales script and just go to your heart's content on that. And, you know, if you're selling more high ticket services, well, you've got to understand how to use that consultation framework. And we share that in our program. So the other thing in the convert phase, and I spoke about this before, I want to actually run through some scenarios here. Let's do the math, okay? Let's do the math because you've got to understand this critically. Now, the way I like doing the math, everyone talks about um, your 12 months, okay, in, in your calendar year. Um, what I found, and I don't know about your business, okay, every business is different, but in our business, we actually really only have nine selling months a year, okay? It doesn't mean that I don't try and close deals on those other three months, but what I've seen, the data doesn't lie, the bank account doesn't lie, is that we're successfully selling and closing deals nine months a year. There's three months a year where like literally we're pushing, excuse the French, but we're pushing shit uphill um, to try and close deals, okay? So nine months a year. So I'm giving you math based on nine months a year. Okay. For you, it might be six months. For others, you might be happily closing every 12 months, like 12 months a year. But in our business, it's nine. So that's what I'm going to give you some math on. So let's just say all you did was you developed eight leads a month. Okay. Um, so over nine months, um, you've got 72 leads. Okay. If we're using a nine month per annum calendar, you've got 72 leads. Let's just say your conversion rate was 13%, which gives us roughly about one new client a month or nine new clients a year. Let's just say you had a product or service value of three and a half grand a month, uh, sorry, three and a graph, three and a half thousand dollars per annum is what a client would spend with you. So all of a sudden, you know, with nine clients a year, that's $31,000, you know, and change per annum, okay? Um, but what you want to be look at is because we're, like I said right at the beginning, we're playing the long-term game. So let's say that we're looking at a three-year long-term client value, um, which gives us essentially $10,500 um, roughly um, for every client over three years. So it's $94,000, um, 500, 94,500 over three years from that aspect. So I just want you to do the math on that. Now, for some of you, you might go, oh, that math's terrible. That's not going to get me excited or anything like that. And that's cool. But what I want you to think about this is it in this way. If, if you're not monetizing LinkedIn, for example, right now, so you might be connecting with people, you might be having conversation, you might not, you might not be doing anything on LinkedIn. But what if... In the next 12 months, what if, if all you did was generate an extra $31,500 off LinkedIn? I'm sure you'd be okay with that. I know I would be. Um, you probably want more than that, and that's, that's perfectly fine as well. But if that $31,500 turns into ninety four five over three years, I, I think that's a, that's a pretty good you know, return on investment for a platform that hasn't been producing. Now, imagine then implementing that math and overlaying that onto different marketing tactics. Maybe it was... Um, you also then went and looked at some networking or some conferences. Maybe it was um, you overlaid that onto to Facebook or Instagram or direct mail or, or one of a gazillion other marketing tactics that you could leverage from that aspect. And you just got those results. And maybe you got those results across three or four different things. That's what I'm talking about. You've got to understand the math behind that. Here's another scenario. So let's just say you got 10 leads per month or 90 over the year. You had a 20% conversion, so you had a better conversion rate. Um, you had, so you've got your two new clients a month or 18 clients a year. Um, your product or service value was $6,000 per annum. So when you got your two new clients each month, it was 12 grand, uh, which resulted in $108,000. Okay, we're still not talking about huge dollars here. For some people, it could be huge. For others, it's like, John, this is chump change, okay? But over the three years, that long-term client value, those $6,000 transactions, which if essentially turns into $18,000 per client over 18 clients is 324 grand. And let's just do one more here, okay? Um, let's just say that you got those 10 leads again. So you had 90 new leads. Um, over the year, you converted at 20%, so you still had those two a month or those 18 new clients, but you had a $12,000 
per annum. So if you're a coach or consultant or for whatever reason, there seems to be, even the service-based businesses that we speak to, a lot of them have an annualized client value of around about that, that $12,000 mark. So it got you essentially over the year, it got you $216,000 of new revenue. Once again, let's talk about LinkedIn, for example. If you could generate $216,000, I'm not promising that, but imagine if you generated $216,000 in new first year revenue over the next 12 months, just from a platform that you haven't produced it before, that'd be, man, that'd be pretty cool. I think from that aspect. And and what what's great is it turns into $648,000 in longer term client value, if you've got a three year long term client. I know some people have only really got, you know, one hit wonder essentially from a transactional perspective. Others have got clients where they're getting seven to 10 year long term client value, but on average it's about three um, from that aspect. So there's potentially 648 grand worth of deals, worth of revenue coming into your business off a platform that you might not have necessarily, um, you know, leveraged before. So this is what is possible uh, for you when you do the math. But like I said, you've got to get the maths right. You've got to get the, and understand that in your business. So that was the, the uh, convert phase. Let's jump into the cultivate phase here. Um, cultivate phase is all about building those referral and partnership opportunities. This is really where the relationship side of things that we spoke about before goes, you know, hell to lever from this aspect here. We really want to start leveraging in the cultivate phase, how we can drive more feedback, reviews and recommendations, how we can go and further tweak your sales pipeline and your offering, um, really looking at what campaigns you're creating in your business, leveraging an infusion soft. So you're pulling that, whether you're pulling those campaigns in from LinkedIn, from Facebook, from Google AdWords, from, you know, from networking functions, whatever it is, but how can you, how can you go and further tweak that sales pipeline and that offering looking at further developing your long-term nurture okay this is where i talk about you'll hear me more and more and more talk about frequently asked questions get your clients questions that's why i keep coming back to you all right now and asking you questions live on the call what what you know where are your challenges at what what's happening so we can go and create content we can go and put materials together answering those frequently asked questions. Um, and finally, you want to go and identify areas where you can go and increase your buying frequency. So how can you have your clients buy more from you and buy more often? Okay, this is, this is critical from that aspect. Um, so, because it might, be, it might be that you've really got one particular product or service that you offer, but through referral and partnerships or strategic joint ventures, you might be able to make introductions and get a clip of the deal um, for not doing any work. Um, from that aspect. So it's really understanding all of these different metrics and methods that you can really go and um, leverage off that database that you're building those, those, those clients that you're, you're pulling through. So in the cultivate phase, there's really these eight campaigns. I spoke about optimizing your sales process and your pipeline. Eight campaigns, in my opinion, that every business must have. Number one, it's that LinkedIn connection and engagement scripts, including how do we transition your connections from LinkedIn into your Infusionsoft database. Uh, number two, it's how can you go and um, create instant lead capture to a subscriber. So this is where you're talking about like your newsletter signs ups, uh, your contact us forms, pop-up exits, all of those types of things on your websites. How do we get, how do we get people in there? Um, it's the free report case study to consultation campaign. Uh, we're talking about a webinar to consult. Um, so I could run this webinar and drive to a consult as well from this aspect. You know, we're, we're driving to an offer, like I said at the beginning today, but we could go to a consult as well. It's the re-engagement to consult. So how do we go and speak to people who we've spoken to previously that didn't buy? Maybe it's six months, maybe it's 12 months down the track, like I spoke to, just to re-engage them into our sales process to a consult, to an offer, what that might look like. Um, it's getting your sales pipeline, okay, to closing. How do we optimize your actual pipeline and what are those stages through your pipeline? It's how do we bring on new clients welcome them and wow them. How do we, how do we you know, essentially make sure that there's zero buyer's remorse from that aspect or mitigate as much of that, minimize as much of that as we can as possible. And finally, how can we leverage um, the relationships, the experience, the, the, you know, the, the paid interaction that we have with our clients in order to get feedback, reviews and recommendations. And I'm not just talking about 
recommendations on LinkedIn here. Google My Business, Google reviews are driving you know, massively at the moment. They're getting more and more and more important. So how can we leverage Infusionsoft to get more Google reviews? Um, for your business, it could be Facebook reviews. It could be even um, specific websites that are, that are key to your industry. How can, you get, how can you get more reviews on those websites? So this is how we're leveraging it from that aspect. So that's the C4 method. Um, it's an advanced marketing and sales method, you know, essentially for selling high ticket products and services. Um, and I really hope you find, found this of value. Um, and I really hope you got a bunch of information out of this. So how do you successfully go and implement the C4 method? Okay, that's what I wanted to cover off now. Also, I've got time once again for Q&A um, as we go through this. So if you've got questions in your mind right now, ask them. The, the only stupid question you can ask is the one that you actually don't ask. Okay, so if you've got questions, ask them away because I want to make sure, like I said, you extract value. So ultimately, how you can go and implement this, well, you've got two options. Um, you can go and do it yourself and, and that's perfectly fine or you can partner with us or somebody like us. Okay, obviously, I'd prefer you to partner with us in this scenario. But in saying that, if you're going to go do it yourself, there's a couple of things that I want you to go and, and implement. I don't want you to leave empty handed. So the first thing is that you want to go and optimize your profile. So you really need to get your positioning right. Okay. Second thing that you want to do is you really need to get clear on your audience. And I highly recommend leveraging the advanced search function functionality through Sales Navigator. And then finally, you need to go and implement a connection strategy. Okay. So you need to connect and follow up. Don't forget to pick up the phone. So if you're gonna go and do that, if you're gonna go do it yourself, um, go to directmessaging.com forward slash gift. Okay, so let me, uh, here, let me throw this in here. So if you're gonna do it yourself, HTTPS uh, directmessaging.com forward slash gift. Um, that's my free gift to you. So if you're gonna go do that yourself, go, go and do that. Now, on the other hand, if you're gonna partner with us, and I'm, I'm curious, um, who would be open to partnering with us if you, you know, obviously offer permitting dollars and all of those types of things. If you're open to partnering with us, you don't even know what I'm going to offer yet. Just just put a why in there because I'm curious to, to know. And, you know, ultimately, if you found value from this webinar today, I would, I would suspect that you'd be at least open to considering working with us. So if you're open to doing that, just give us a why as I go through this because I want to make sure that this is something that's going to be valuable for you all, you know. Um, so if you want to partner with us and ultimately fast track your success, this is um, the process that I wanted to run you through today. We call it our conversations into cash in a circle. Okay. So our conversations to ca into cash in a circle um, comprises of this. Um, here's what you'll get when you join today. We're going to show you how to go and turn leads into appointments. Okay. Fact is, this is the backbone of any quality sales process is your ability to schedule appointments with qualified prospects. Okay. So we'll show you exactly how to do this. Um, plus, if you graded it, okay, um, we'll even introduce you to some of our clients um, who will pay you handsomely to do it for them as well. Now, the reason I say that, this is really interesting. The reason I say this is the amount of clients that we speak to, um, particularly businesses that are in that startup phase or employees who are looking to start a business, say to us, John, we want to start a business, but we want to learn our sales skills. The only way that we're going to get better at our sales skills is actually to pick up the phone and have conversations with people. Um, is there a way that we can do this and get paid for it? And I'm like, absolutely. We've got bucket loads of clients that would happily, you know, have somebody pick up the phone and call them. I mean, I've got, I've, I've got literally got 135 leads right now. If someone wants to pick up the phone and go and call them, I can give them to them tomorrow. Okay. And I'll happily pay them for it when they close a deal. So there's no dramas with that. Okay. But we're going to show you how to turn leads into appointments. Um, the second thing that we're going to give you is that baby step sales script. So you're going to learn um, how to identify and close hungry buyers. Uh, who are willing to invest, like I said before, typically 48 to $2,998, just shy of three grand, um, in under 15 minutes without fear of being labelled sleazy, okay? This is, like I said, this is literally your licence to print money at will. Um, from there, we're also going to give you our high-ticket consultation framework. Um, so following this, you know, it's enabled us, um, so myself, my clients, and hopefully soon you to close, you know, close high-ticket deals, um, five grand plus in under 90 minutes. Um, my just to, and this isn't a bragging thing or anything like that because I know there's people who have closed a lot more than me but for me 
following this framework on a Zoom call with a client, we closed a $58,000 deal, okay, paid over the 12 months, okay, but a $58,000 deal, credit card in hand and processed on the call in under 90 minutes, okay? First phone call, okay? So I just, like this framework works. We consistently will do deals from anywhere from sort of six grand up to 30, 40 grand uh, in, in 90 minutes using this framework, okay? So think of that. Um, on top of that, we're gonna give you some sales mentoring and even throw you in the hot seat. So every month uh, we get together online like we're doing right now to discuss sales opportunities. So think, I want you to think of this as a virtual sales meeting. Wanna uh, discuss your sales opportunities, sharpen your sales knowledge and skills. Um, plus, you know, like I said, we'll put you in the hot seat um, so you can be mentored directly. Um, think of it as that online sales meeting with inspired and motivated peers, okay? The intention behind these calls is to see you resulting in closing more deals more often. That's my whole intention, is to get you closing more deals. Because the fact is, if you're closing more deals, you're going to be extremely happy. You're going to tell the world about me and all of those types of things, which is great. Um, and finally, we're going to give you access to essentially uh, the million dollar Rolodex. And this isn't for the week. And like I said this before, this is if you have that burning desire to make more money, this is for you. Um, we've got an ever growing list of clients who are looking for quality sales superstars. Um, you know, and essentially for, for them purely from things like qualifying prospects to setting appointments to even closing deals. Um, and if you're awesome, and you can prove your sales skills. Like I said, we'll troll you first in our own business. Um, we'll put you in contact with, with, this, with these clients, um, you know, so you can go make additional income streams. This is for people who are obviously interested in that. It might not even be on your radar. But we're not gonna stop there. We're also gonna give you a very special bonus uh, if you decide to join us today. And that special bonus is our We Write Profiles online program. So in the We Write Profiles online program, um, the, the, the training includes the LinkedIn profile checklist, LinkedIn headline generator, LinkedIn generating templates, so lead generating templates. We're actually gonna give you three uh, templates from that aspect. We're gonna give you a 27 minute daily hit list. Um, we're gonna show you how to leverage sales navigator, a whole bunch of other things in there. The value of that uh, alone for that program is $2,544 for what we're going to include in that aspect. So you're probably wondering how much it costs and all of that and John get to the point and all of that type of thing. So here's, here's the recap and here's what you're going to get. So the, you're going to get the turn your leads into appointments. It's valued at $67. You're going to get our baby step sale script. Okay, that's valued at $297. You're going to get our high ticket consultant framework. That's valued at $1495. Our monthly sales and mentoring hot seat. Okay, that's valued at $2364. Our million dollar Rolodex. Literally, that is priceless if we're going to introduce you to our clients. Plus the bonuses, which is the We Write Profiles online course. Um, that, self, that itself we sell for $397. Our LinkedIn message scripts at $497. Um, your profile and message review. So literally, you'll go and write your LinkedIn profile utilizing the templates that we'll give you. You'll write your LinkedIn messaging scripts utilizing the templates we'll give you. You'll send that through to our team. We'll actually review that for you, okay, before you go live. So you can go live confidently with that. Um, so all of that value is $6,767. And you can get that today for $888. It is an annualized membership, okay? Cancel any time, but it's $888, which will give you access to the Conversations Into Cash Inner Circle program. So you get all of that. Remember, you're getting monthly group mentoring around sales and marketing, um, you know, all of the stuff that you see there on screen, plus a whole bunch of other stuff in there for $888. Um, you know, it's the same process uh, that essentially we've worked with these clients on. So it's the same process, like I said, Sean before, four appointments in 48 hours plus millions in approved loans. Um, you know, it's the same process that, that we're giving you for $888 that our clients, our private clients have spent thousands and thousands on where Sandy from the Executive Connection reduced their cost per lead by 35%, uh, where Joven went and generated 500 plus connections, 300K in sales all within four months. Um, so you can get that today for $888. Um, here's what to do if you would like that. Um, you can go to directmessaging.com forward slash CIC. Okay, I'll throw that link in there in a moment. 
um, you go and join. That's going to take you to an order form. It's $888, okay? Um, the sales tax will come on when you enter your address information, so it'll be less than that. When you're entering your address information, it'll say $888, bucks, um, and you're going to fast track your success, okay? So let me um, jump back on here. I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a moment. Um, let me throw this link in here for you. Guys, what questions do you have um, for me? Because I want to open that up there for you. I'm just going to triple check that link will take us all through to the sales page, which it should definitely do that. Fantastic. It's there. Um, how many of you can see that that's of value? I can see that there's a couple of, a couple of questions there, depending on dollars. Um, and by any virus. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. You can probably access yeah, your free GIF on, an, on another computer, Donna, absolutely, um, from that aspect. I hope you can all see that, that what we spoke about is of value from that aspect. I mean, for $888, think of it this way. Like I said, do the math on it, okay? Do the math in your head right now. Uh, think about what does a client spend with you, okay? What does a client spend with you? Um, your website is not quite ready. Fantastic. It's actually probably better that your website isn't ready right now so we can actually create it correctly. Um, let's, let's be clear. Um, for the first eight years of my LinkedIn marketing um, company, we literally had a landing page. It was a headline with three bullet points and an opt-in box. Um, you do not need a website to make money. Okay. I want to want to be clear on that. You don't need business cards. Heck, I don't even have a business card. Um, you do not need a business card to make money. You can literally run this by a LinkedIn profile, okay? Should you go and develop a website and all of that? Absolutely. I believe in the, in the, the belief of how do I get clients to pay for things from that aspect. So if I can bring on clients to that, if, so if in your business, you can go and sell something, offer, deliver that service like you would amazingly and use that revenue to then go and pay for a website, that would be the way that I would look at. Rightly or wrongly, that's just the, that's just the way that my brain um, works from that aspect. And I'm like, how do I get beautifully or handsomely paid to do what I love? That's, that's the, the, the big push, the big, the big goal for mine from that aspect. So what questions, what other questions have we got? Um, you know, Susan, I know you, that you said yes, depending on the dollars. Um, I hope that those dollars worked out for you, $888. What's that workout to be a month? It's at about 70 something dollars or something like that, 88 divided by 12, $74. Um, yes, you're paying it annually. It's 888 bucks. Um, you're paying it annually. It is what it is um, from that aspect. But, you know, think of it this way. If all you did was close one deal, would it be worth it? Would it be worth to get access to all of the stuff that we spoke about to 12 months of group mentoring all around sales, marketing, you're getting that digital sales, you know, essentially the, the sales aspect with me, the sales meeting with me every single month on a live Zoom call like what we're doing now. Would it be worth it? I can't make that decision for you. Only you can do that. So here's what I want to do. I'm just going to, yeah, 74. Thanks, Donna, for the calculation. So here's what I want to do is I'm, I'm happy to hang on. I know there's a bunch of you still on the call right now. I'm happy to hang on, answer calls, answer any questions that you've got. Um, I'm, I'm curious, is, is, is anybody in? I'm curious, like if you're in, just give me a why. You don't have to, no pressure on that. Um, they were keen, but they didn't sign the engagement letter. Okay, cool. How do we follow? Yeah, cool. How do we follow up with them? Yeah, so that's a, that's a, that's a great question. Um, Donna, that's a great question. So, how, so I'm just going to share this with everybody. How, how do you contact a client after you've pitched to them? Um, they were keen, but they didn't sign an engagement letter um, and didn't respond to follow-up calls and voicemail messages. So there's a couple of things that we have here. So if I talk about our, um, our private client stuff, so um, we're working with client, private clients from anywhere from about two grand up a month, and we've got clients that are spending uh, right now upwards of about 5,200 a month on, on marketing stuff. Um, all of those clients that we go through, we go to proposals. So I'm assuming you've probably put like an engagement letter out like what you've mentioned there. So we'll have a verbal, we'll have a verbal agreement on the phone with them um, and then we'll send through the proposal. Um, yep, cool, no worries, David. Thank you, for, thank you for joining in. Great to hear that it was great info. Um, we, we follow up those, those individuals uh, with, with the agreement. 
we will always schedule a follow-up call with that person um, before we send the agreement, okay? So we schedule that appointment with them and then we run through that process. Now, if somebody doesn't sign the agreement, we have follow-up mechanisms in place, okay? So we use a, plat we use a proposal platform called Proposify um, that integrates with Infusionsoft um, and essentially we have some follow-up metrics behind that. Do we convert every single person? No. But what we do in our follow-up process there is we will have a certain number of touch points over a 90-day period um, with those individuals um, to, in order to get them to say yes or no. I don't want maybes, okay? I want people to either say, yes, John, we're committed, or no, thanks, it's not right now, okay? Perfect. Either one's fine. Um, same with our program. So we will have a certain number of touch points. We'll pick up the phone, we'll send an email, we'll resend the proposal from that aspect, and, and we'll actually literally do those number of touch points. If they don't respond, we will move it to the lost bucket and move on, okay? The worst thing that we see, particularly with the larger clients that we work with, and it's a similar process with small, smaller businesses as well, there is so much wasted time um, in business, in the hours of the day, where people are constantly chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing deals because they think it's going to close. Um, like I said before, we just know the math of our sales process. So we know that if they don't buy within 90 days, the likelihood of that individual buying within a 90 day period or outside of that 90 day period is less than 5%. So we, I'm, I'm not wasting anyone's time on you know, the pipe dream from that aspect. So you've really got to start to introduce some metrics into your business. So typically in our business, once we've had that initial consult and we send the proposal, we'll have around seven to nine touch points over that 90 day period, okay? Um, in order to follow up and get that deal closed, okay? If we exhaust those touch points or that time frame, we instantly move it to the lost bucket, okay? Can that client re-engage in the sales process? Yes, they can, but we're not investing any more its time or energy or, or effort on that deal because the likelihood it's not gonna close. Now, in saying that, like I said, you've gotta understand your sales cycle. We speak to some clients where literally their sales cycle is 14 days. So from initial consult to close, if it doesn't close, the deal doesn't close in 14 days, they're not gonna spend any more time on it. We've also had other clients where it's about 18 months. So it's really understanding those metrics and the numbers behind that. So I hope that um, helps Donna from that aspect. Um, Joseph, a lot of information to handle. Cool. Um, I do believe it yeah, benefit my company. Okay. Cool. Cool. Awesome. No, no dramas at all. Um, happy, to, happy, to have a, happy to have a conversation further about that. Um, what other questions have we got? I know there's a bunch of people still on right now. Uh, what other questions do you have for me, if any? If there's no other questions, I'm happy to let everybody jump on with their day. Um, but like I said, you know, you can, you can go to uh, directmessaging.com forward slash CIC. Um, if, that, if it's a fit for you, if the conversations in the cash programs are fit for you, fantastic. If it's not, that's cool. Um, I just hope that you've extracted a bunch of detail from that. Um, would you go over our website and make sure it works with LinkedIn? I can, I can definitely do that. Happy to do um, that as well. Um, interested but need to run it past my business partner. Sure, I understand all of these things. Um, that's cool. If now's not the right time and we need to have a chat, um, directmessaging.com. If for whatever reason, guys, you've got a couple of other questions that you don't want to talk about right now or you're checking a couple of things out, there's a link to my calendar. Let's have a chat. I'm cool with that. Just go there, directmessaging.com forward slash calendars dash John. I'm pretty sure I spelt that correctly as I was typing it in there. Um, if you want to go, yeah, book that in. Um, Joseph, if you want to um, book in a call and we can run through your website and all of those types of things, that's cool as well. Donna, no dramas at all. Happy to have a chat with you and your business partner. Um, more than happy to do that. Um, guys, I, once again, I hope um, I delivered. Um, I'm pretty confident I did, um, but I hope I delivered and, and you, all, you all got a bunch of value out of this. Um, like I said, if we're not connected on LinkedIn, let's connect. If you're going to join us in the program, let's do it because, you know, it's one of my, I, I just, I, I love doing this stuff. 
love helping people. And, you know, if I can help you guys make some more money along the way, um, everyone wins um, from that aspect. So if there's no other questions, I know there's a bunch of you still on, but if there's no other questions right now, I'm more than happy um, to wrap up today's call. Once again, I hope you got a bunch of value out of it. I'm just looking to see if any more questions come through. No. Um, so let's do this. I'm going to wrap it for you there. Um, thanks everyone for playing full out. Thanks for actually engaging in these webinars because you know I, I, it's it is lonely speaking to a computer screen and and you have made it more enjoyable. <laughs> so so thank you uh, for everybody once again for jumping on my today. If you're joining me in the program, congratulations, welcome on board. Uh, for those of you who have got other questions, you know go use those links and, and book in a call with me. And other than that, look forward to having a great day ahead and look forward to speaking with you all again real soon. Bye for now, guys. See you.